this turned out really, really good. I mean, it really turned out exceptional, actually. You'll have to watch the video from the beginning to the end to see how we did it. Hey everybody, I got my little helper, Mason Stewart tonight. And uh, what are we making, Mason? Meatloaf. What kind of meatloaf? Venison meatloaf? Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. So over here in our bowl, we have three eggs and two pounds of venison. So Mason, start mixing, mixing those eggs in with your hands. <laughs> Don't look around, you're gonna start <laughs> mixing it with your hands. <laughs> yep, do it, <laughs> mix it. Put them in there, mix them in there good. <laughs> squish it in there, squish them. Spread it in there, there you go. Why aren't you using both hands? There you go, it's better. Mix it really good. Yeah. All right, we're about to mix in some other spices. Hold tight, folks. Oh, All right, good. it does smell good, doesn't it? All right, we have some Cavender's Greek seasoning. That's really good stuff to mix in on this meatloaf. Also threw in some Worcestershire sauce. Sorry. <laughs> How do you say it there, Mason? <laughs> and some breadcrumbs. I just put just a little bit, maybe a, a cup uh, of breadcrumbs in there. Of course, deer meat is uh, already dry. It doesn't have a lot of fat content. But um, anyway, you can use 80-20 uh, ground beef if you want to, to do that. So you're mixing it really, really good. All right, now what I got over here is some green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow uh, bell pepper, and then also a red onion, or I got uh, clarified by Audrey Claire that it was a purple onion actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna saute that with some butter and a little bit of uh, chicken broth. So hang tight. There we go. I didn't know I was messing with uh, my hand. We're doing an old fashioned one. Yeah, I'm doing it old-fashioned way. Well, how did they have onions? They had onions back in the day. What? Where? Where did you get onions? Oh, my goodness. How did you cut it up? <laughs> With a knife. They had knives back in the day there, buddy. Well, I thought they made them. Made. I thought they, were, they had, like, a stick. This isn't a primitive, like, back in the Indians and all that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, how did they make them? Oh. Because there was deer back and they killed deer. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna saute these up. Hold on a minute. All right, as you can see, getting this sauteed a little bit. Get them to where <clears throat> they're translucent or however long you wanna do it. Uh, and the reason why is because whenever you cook them, I put them in there without sauteing them before. And they just, they're, they're crunchy, which crunchy is okay, I guess, but uh, I, I would rather have it a little softer. Like you like crunch? Uh -huh. You are crunch, buddy. All right, we're going to mix some uh, Frank's hot sauce in there with it. Add it. Frank, do you know Frank? I know a person named Frank. Do you? Good. All right, let's throw a little Frank's hot sauce in there. So far we've added just Worcestershire, the Cavenders, and breadcrumbs, and three eggs. That's all we've added so far. Mason, oh. Mason what's, your, uh, what's your favorite part of making meatloaf so far? Smushing it. Smushing it? Good. What about eating it here in a little bit? Do We're gonna eat it. We're gonna have mashed taters, some early peas, sweet peas, and um, we're gonna eat it. Okay. <laughs> what are we about to add there, Mason? What is this? Tomato. 
It's <laughs> ketchup, boy. Ooh, I'm going to score some ketchup in here. Tomatoes ketchup. Yeah, not a lot, but some. Find us tomatoes. Heinz tomato ketchup. Oh, fine. Guess what? What is We're it? We're back. A1. A1 steak sauce. You is know they hot? made that. No, it's not hot. But um. they made that in 1862 in the middle of the Civil War. Who in the world would have came up with a steak sauce? They were like, oh, hey, this is a great idea. Uh, let's just make some steak sauce in between, you know, the, the battles that we're having. So, anyway, that's it. Smells a, good, but then it, it smells bad. Let's put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, not a lot. Okay, there we go. Is that good? No. I like your foot up there. Nice and that. That's really good. <laughs> All right. Uh, we had to add some milk, which was about less than a half a cup. Of milk and then I added some garlic. Mason, you want to smell the garlic? What's it this is smell? garlic. Yeah, what's it smell like? rice. Right, it looks kind of like chopped rice. What does it smell like? Not good garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you smell it? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we have in that bowl ketchup A1. Barbecue sauce and Heinz 57 and some brown sugar. So we're doing this. Mixing it all up. Mason, you're about to stick your hands in here, buddy. We're about to put some more breadcrumbs because this is... Do you think it's hot? No, I don't think it's hot anymore. Boy, it smells good. You know that. All those sauteed bell peppers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Compose yourself, boy. All right. Mason's going to mix in some more breadcrumbs in with all the other stuff that we have mixed in there. You go for it. Do it to it. Wait, no, I'm not talking about that. No, don't eat it. Go. It smells like something else. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Yep, just pull it all out and we'll, what we're gonna do is form it into a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it, Mason. There you go. Grab this. There. There. Oh, no. <laughs> Mason, <laughs> Mason is making fun of me because you're like, oh, we ought to give a have a giveaway, but you only have <laughs> you only have five subscribers. I have fifteen. Thank you. <laughs> what? What do you want to give away? We'll think about it. Gift card. Gift cards. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Do they won't have any money on them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got the loaf, or the meat formed into a loaf, and I put it on top of some cut, pretty thick cut onions, as you can see underneath, all the way under. And that way it'll keep it from burning whenever we put it into the oven. So I've got the oven going at 350. We're going to put it in there for about... 20 25 minutes and then we're going to put the the glaze on it i may put a little bit of glaze on there right now but um, anyway i'll come back and i'll let you know all the ingredients that we put in there and uh, but it formed up really really well i had to put in a little extra breadcrumbs uh, my measurement after i put the milk in it, it made it pretty um it did really well it wasn't it wasn't forming very well, so we had to add some extra breadcrumbs. So we'll be back. All right, Mason. <laughs> we're uh, we got it made into a loaf, so we're getting ready to pop it in the oven. I put a little bit of barbecue sauce on top. What does it smell like since you stuck your nose in it? <laughs> does it smell good? Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. Let's get that thing. All righty, we are back. Audrey is doing a cameo 
coming in. We have been cooking this meatloaf for, I guess about almost 30 minutes now. And we're getting ready to put the glaze on. So Mason, start putting the glaze on. Be careful because that's really, really hot. Here, let me help you a little bit. Hey, uh oh. Spread it, just spread it out on top. There you go. Save a little bit of this. I've been thinking about that giveaway. We're probably gonna hold off on that giveaway. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're doing a good job. Audrey, is he doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm so glad you're helping or watching. Yeah. All right, put it in the, put it in the thing. Okay. There you go. All right, Mason, does it smell better now? It smells like sauce. Does it? I like the smell. Mmm, that smells good. Does it? All right. We're gonna, oh, hey, don't touch it. Hey, we're gonna put it back in the oven for about another 25, 30 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Thermometer in there. That was nice. Let's see what it comes up to. Oh, it's at 160. And it's going up a little higher. I think it's done. Mm -hmm. We'll cut up in a little bit and see. What do you think, Mimi? Yeah, because it's over 160. What do you think, Audrey? Good. <laughs> um, uh, this is how it turned out. Can you see it? This is, this is a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. You want to see you too? <laughs> you see you? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Anyway, that's what it turned out. Turned out really, really good. I'm about to cut into it. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in and watching this video. Thank you, Mason. Thank you, Audrey. Where's Audrey? Oh, Lord, there's Audrey. She's hugging me, too. I love you. I love you. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, thank y'all. If you have any questions, just comment below my facebook or youtube and i'll i'll get back with you i enjoy making these videos and i hope you enjoyed them i love making them with my kids because there's no telling what they're going to end up saying so thank y'all it's chaotic here <laughs> constantly